Hi everyone, Power to the Buster here, and we're going to take a look at the Boss Fight Studios um, Bucky O'Hare figure, which off the back, I'm not sure how this figure didn't end up on everyone's top five list, you know, of 2017. I just got it, it just arrived, um, actually arrived a few hours ago today, and this is a pretty sweet figure. Uh... He came in, what well, came? <laughs> he came in one of these packaging, <coughs> a collector friendly one, which here's the rest of it. So you guys could check it out. You know me, sad view. So yeah, pretty neat artwork. Uh, kind of like the old ones. Me, I'm not too much of a fan of the character or the series or whatnot, but. You know, I like things from that era. So, you know, this is a no-brainer. And again, collector-friendly packaging. You just slip the... Slip it right in, like so. And, yeah. Should be the standard for all figures. Well, all companies, rather. So, uh, that's out the way. Um, in fact, he also came with two clamshells. Uh, one with the other accessories behind this one, which again should be the standard. I paid about 40 bucks for this figure. Uh, I want to say about 45 with shipping. Um, and you know, I, I believe I got my money's worth. I mean, especially being from a smaller studio, you know. <coughs> so, oh, as for accessories. I didn't remove them, but he came with closed fists. You know, my thing is I don't believe in using, I mean, it's nice to have them, but I never use the closed fists unless the character or figure, well, character rather, is supposed to not have a weapon. And, you know, like Superman, closed fist is good for Superman and an uh, open hand. He also has a pointing um, hand, but... I don't have any figures for him to command, and I don't know. I don't know if this would be my last one or if I would get the others. That's up in the air at this moment. Uh, he has another closed fist hand, so left and right closed fist, pretty much. A open hand, which I brought out to show you guys. I wonder how clear this comes out. Uh, no different, really. Uh. A cape, which I can't seem to get mine on. Let me see if I can focus and show you why. I guess I won't be getting anything to focus. Oh, there you go. But yeah, see, mine doesn't peg in right. I don't know if the peg is like too big or I don't know what's going on with that. But I mean, I could get it in there somewhat, but... It's going to flop back out. So, let's see. See, this is as far as I get it. I don't, maybe this is supposed to be as much as it's supposed to go, but as you can see, there's that giant, like, let me see if I could. There's like a gap. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or what, but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. But, um, yeah, like I said, I like things from that era and I did have the original toy because even though I was born in the eighties, unlike everybody else who remember eighties vividly, people from like 84 or whatever and 87, I was born in 83 and I don't remember Jack up. <laughs> yes, I'm old. <laughs> I don't remember anything. Except mostly the 90s and certain toys I had here and there. So, uh, that's that. But, yeah, as for the figure, it comes with uh, the two blasters also. Don't know the name of them. We'll just call them blasters. Uh, the collar is not articulated, but it moves still. It's not a solid piece. It's, I mean, it's more of a, like... Uh, more gummier plastic, I guess you could say. So it, 
allows for more movement still. It doesn't restrict anything. So you got the shoulder joints go out uh, for my favorite joint, the elbow that rotates and hinge. Uh, let's see if I can get it to hinge. This is kind of a small figure and for the price I paid, it's pretty fragile. Let me remove this. And I don't want to screw up anything. So let's see if I can get this to articulate up. There we go. Yeah, it's a little stiff. But as you can see, you'll eventually get it. Uh, yeah, uh, rotation at the wrist also, which, well, I guess it's not intentional because, like I said, this part rotates. So I would assume the glove only rotates because you swap it. You know, you can swap it out. So it's not an intentional rotation. Uh, head is on a ball joint, double ball. In fact, if I could keep the <laughs> keep it in focus, but yeah, double ball. Uh, one down here, one in the actual head. Uh, as you guys see me move the ears, that's on a uh, ball joint also. So this guy's just loaded with the right articulation, the right amount, the right type, uh, waist swivel, uh, ball joint, uh, waist, well, waist hips, and a like the elbow, the uh, hinge, and ball, well, rotation, uh, ball knees, uh, hinge, uh, so you get a good pivot. Um, ankle so yeah that's pretty much a ball also it's in, it got rotation and hinge but it's pretty much a ball and hinge uh, toe up here I don't know if I will be actually using the uh, toe articulation but I'm glad that it's there so yeah I mean see as you can see I got it bent so I guess after working around with it for a bit you could actually see you will loosen up the uh, joints because they're pretty stiff, at least on mine. I don't know about everybody else's. Again, I'm sure there's a thousand reviews on this guy already. Um, I'm just not getting a hold of them. So, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, the face swapping feature. In fact, let me show you guys the heads. These heads are <laughs> pretty identical. Pretty identical. Uh, let's see, get this in view so I can see what the actual difference is. This mouth on this one is a little bit more open than this one, but it could have been like wide open, like a screaming or maybe an anime look or something. Like this is fine, one of these, but two, nah. I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's a couple differences, like certain very minor differences like this brow is a little bit thicker than this one but it's not different enough to warrant two of the same head sculpts like if he had like an even angrier face or a scared face or even a happy face that that would be fine and here's the back of them i don't know what this is about these little white things but one is marked with a number two and one is marked with number one. So, so I uh, wasn't sent the same head sculpt. This is with all of them. And here's the one I might just keep on. I don't know. <clears throat> but to remove them, you have to disturbingly uh, grab them by the head and pull. It's a little hard to do. There we go. And... There's faceless Bucky. Do 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 do. Okay, <laughs> but uh, in fact, let me compare the uh two that I just this one and the one I removed. See, this one's fine because one is closed and the other mouth is open. So you know, I don't know. I might display with one of these open mouths. It depends on which one I like the best. Uh, this one got more color to it, so I might use this open mouth. 
and to switch you just pop it back on there i hope this white thing that's in here doesn't hinder anything but we will see because again i'm being so careful because i'm a poor person and for me to have bought this is outrageous so let's see get in there oh there's a a bit of a gap down here but i'm gonna write that off as good enough <laughs> so wait let me see yeah you know this is good enough so i mean if it eat at me anymore i would just switch it back but it's fine uh paint on this guy is pretty good pretty good I wish it was more of the shimmery go like on the uh box here. Uh but this pale color is fine for the figure. It's, it's a muted colored figure anyways. And when I draw, I like coloring with mute colors, so you know, it works out for me. Um Yeah, the sculpt is good. This this studio done pretty much everything right so far. Uh, the other characters, again, is up in air if I'll get those, but for the moment, I'm good with just Bucky here. So, uh, make sure I showed you guys. Yeah, see? Sculpt. Oh, there's also tail articulation. It rotates. Which, it didn't even need to have that articulation, but, you know, it's there, and that's fine. Um... Yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything. Uh, if I had to give the rating, well, the figure rating, which, you know, I'm going to start giving out ratings. I'm going to go back and pick up every figure I review and give them a rating. So, as for this figure here, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect figure. I wish they could get licensed to the real Ghostbusters. Uh, probably even get their hands in some Ninja Turtles. But the thing about that is the price point needs to come down a little. Yeah. I mean, this is good uh, for the price. It's pretty good. But at the same time, I feel like they could have did this figure at the price of 20 bucks you know uh, 20 bucks you could have got the same you know uh features and everything else and you know i think i might switch this head back because this eye is a little cockeyed on mine all right this one's straight but i don't really want to use that head but this one's a little cockeyed so i might ultimately end up displaying them with this one uh, as for the packaging, I don't know. I like having them in action poses, so I might not even, you know, uh, put them back in a collector-friendly packaging. <laughs> oh, oh, did you guys see that? Face fell off. So, original face it is. <laughs> but that's only because, uh, yeah, see, this one fits. Perfect. The other ones, they're there, but you really can't do too much with them. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. And, you know, if there's a figure out there you guys want me to pick up and review or a piece of tech, let me know. And I will see if I can get a hold of it. Because there was a few texts that I already returned that I had gotten, and they were terrible. And I wish I had reviewed them before I returned them, but I didn't. So, <laughs> there's that. And yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Like, share, comment, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff, uh, message or whatever. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Uh, Power to the Buster, out.